guys it's me echo droid and today i'm going to be playing some fortnite creative and the map we're going to be doing it is on the xl grid island now you can call it whatever you want but i'm just going to call it br which stands for battle royale and we just wait for it to load and yeah take quite a while and also if you're wondering why I have the fresh from a side skin since the last time we played I did the video it was kind of a default skin wasn't it but that's because I had a gift card which I used and I got the battle pass and with the battle pass I got like 130 battle stars. So, I have some really cool skins now. So, and with this terrain, you get it straight out of the Volcanic Rock Gallery. It's this first piece here. And you want to blow it all the way up like I did. And then you can really just place it however you want it doesn't matter but if you really want to you can copy what I'm doing which is like you turn it round a lot and you also make it a bit higher than other pieces in some areas also you can take off the grid, the grid snap and then you can make more elevated parts like I'm doing here and when you do things like this it looks a bit like a hill as you can see or maybe a cliff face and when you do things like that it gives your terrain a bit less uniform and more naturalism but I recommend keep on turning and you'll get a really natural realistic looking terrain and with some pieces you can resize them but it won't really work here as you can see we've already got some good looking terrain and we can really copy this down and then make this space a bit more enclosed like that and you can really do this however you want you don't have to follow in this part but in some other parts you'll need to follow a bit closely and we'll get to that a bit later though so here is like a little lowered part and I'm going to have a beach here you don't have to add the thing, it's just a little thing that I'm putting into mine and we'll get to that in more of the end of the video because it's not really relevant to the actual design but as you can see these cliffs here they look quite nice and you can really just copy them turn them round and you'll get some terrain a bit like this and once you're done and happy with your terrain it will really come together and hopefully you like the terrain that you've built so 
this is my terrain and it is a bit basic but I mean simplistic builds still turn out amazing and I also recommend if you really want to give it a bit more character you can get this one bit and you can kind of resize it and you can make like more neat like naturistic steps really and like this is also optional but it looks quite nice so you and when you do things like this it just gives your build that extra bit of detail that sometimes in many builds people do have that missing but there are many builds there are many like really great maps out there for people to try that give them ideas for maps and so this is the terrain really this little piece of area here and it looks quite nice already but this is nowhere near the end if we go back to hub and sometimes you don't really want to go back to hub in the middle of a build but for this one it you'll need another island and it's going to be the volcano island and if I have a like sniffly voice or you know it's a bit weird my nose is a bit blocked up today and I don't really know why but it does make my voice sound a bit, you know, bored, sleepy, but yeah. And when we get in, we'll want to go onto the volcanic rock and select this piece here, this specific piece. And then, resize it all the way make it really big and then you want to place it around your mountain and also like and then you'll need to rotate it on your axis and when you rotate it on the your axis it gets it turns around which is something that you'll really need in this specific build and if you've got little pieces jotting out then you can just build a bit on it as well and also with your builds you don't want you don't always want it to be a bit bland but for this part of the build it is really a bit better to have it more bland because otherwise you'll have your volcano having a lot more detail than really anything else which you know normally is really good but your but you still, people do forget about terrain and they make one key part 
amazing and then everything else is just left like not that good but with this you know you'll leave the volcano like it's not really that basic but it's more basic than like some giant really detailed volcano because you don't need it to be fully detailed you just need a volcano and once you get the perfect shape for your volcano you need to multi-select it all multi-selecting is really easy you just like on xbox you just press the front of your d-pad and it multi selects every thing that you click on but you have to be looking at it and it has to be like when it goes blue you press forwards on the d-pad and as you see I've left a little hole here and that is like for a vol like a bit of lava to come down and you might not want that though and if you don't then you don't have to I'm just doing it but yeah and here I'm going to have a little cave where there's which I will get to how to building the cave sometime else in the video and this is just going to be like a little mini series of how to build your own battle royale and this is the very first video and it's for a volcanic island so this is really what it looks like so far and here I've got it a bit too like high so yeah I need to do that and now you've and now I've got this really nice looking volcano with a cave and then in here it's hollow but that's because we're going to add the lava after so this is what it looks like really you want to multi select it again and that will take a little while sometimes and it can get tedious but it's all about trying to do it and you've got to be patient you can't just do something get one thing wrong and then instantly quit out you have to try and make your the problem that you made you have to see if you can fix it but if you can't fix it it's all right you can just try and work around it and see if you can fix turn like, the problem into a like maybe a really good design feature like with the cave that I've been talking about I didn't actually try to do a cave that was just a misplacement that I did on accident but it, do it did turn out to be quite a good idea a cave and then as you can see it says hold to replace when you hold Y well hold LT and then you press any button I'm going to be using B 
and then you've turned all of the thing you've manufactured into one little item in your hot bar so now we'll go back to the hub and rush over to towards the island so oh no wrong one and this vol this volcanic island it might be a two part video I don't know yet but yeah and now we need to get back to the volcanic island the BR and you can see it down there and look it's there and then you press B it's right there for us just to place down now you can place this anywhere but I'm gonna place it right here now this is Oh no. Oh no, oh no. No, no, no. This is bad. This is really bad. We need to multi select it all again. Uh oh. And. Here. Or maybe, as I was saying about making your problems into a design feature, I can just bring it down a bit. See? Problem solved! And I didn't have to do it all again. So you can see here there's lots of like islands. You can just place that back in here. Here. Now I'm just doing lots of random terrain here because not many people will really see this but yeah there this looks a lot better and I've still got my cave I think I might delete that and that though and there this cave is looking really good and now it's time to Add in like the lava after I finish this wall. So here's the cave. It looks good. And up here, now there's this hole. This is what you want to do. Go onto terrain, and you can see the lava tile gallery. You want to select the circle and the square lava piece and then get the circle you'll want to resize it and here and then you've got your lava tile oh whoops and this lava tile will make it so that you don't fall straight through as you can see here I can perfectly run and then you see customize lava surface you need to turn it on and then oh whoops you might want to get it high so that oh whoops I'm stuck under it now and then here see it burns you now so that's how you make the working lava. Then you'll go onto devices, onto the spawner, and if you go all the way to the bottom, 
this VFX spawner and then you place it right here and customize it you want it to be embers and really you can make it as thick as you want but I'm gonna put four down and I'm gonna have one where the sound effect is going to be the like wind when I get to it uh, where is it there it is wind Now it's this really nice effect, and then this one, you want fog, and then the sound effect again, it's going to be the wind, and then because fog, you need like quite a bit for it. And you just want to make it go up in any direction you want. Here. So that's how you make your volcano. So as I said, it's going to have to be a two-part video. I'll get to the, like more of the design and the good-looking bits in the next video. But for now, from Echo Droid, that's a wrap. See ya later.